Hello everybody, this is Nobody Grotesque, and this is Nobody's Grotesque review of the movie Invoked it's on Netflix right now. And <laughs> Okay, so I, I'm a fan of found footage genre. I know a lot of people, a lot of horror movie fans don't like it, but I, I'm a fan. I, I just, I enjoy them, but when you have stuff like Invoked, it really gives them a bad name, because, let's get down to it, Invoked stars Patrick Murphy, Sierra Rose Burke, Lynn Larkin, Craig Granger, and Aaron Gibson. Now, I don't know who none of these people are, I'm not even gonna lie, but, you know, still, they, they, they actually filmed the movie, so she, they, they should get some type of credit. And uh, this movie's set in Ireland, which is uh, pretty unique. You know, you don't get that many Ireland horror movies out there. But that's the only unique thing about it. You got you got these these teenagers. I don't know. I, I, I'm just calling them young, these young adults. These adults who decide to travel to this hostel, this abandoned hostel. You know, do the typical let's smoke weed, let's get drunk, let's do. All this cliche, stupid stuff that young adults apparently do. And then, you know, someone came up with the, one of the guys came up with a bright idea. Like, let's make a Ouija board out of some glass and some paper and contact the dead spirits. That apparently has a folklore around the area to where, you know, a lot of evil spirits there and unmarked graves or something. I, I don't know. But, uh, but like. Why is that a good, a stupid, why would you, why would you, I get that they're drunk and high, okay, but still. And then, you know, just in typical found footage or just horror movie fashion, you know, well, found footage in general, you know, it, uh, you know, just some, it takes too long for stuff to happen, and when do, stuff does happen, if you've seen a found footage movie, then you know, you got the, the person walking into the dark, see somebody there, then turn around, the person is there. Or you got someone walking down the aisle, aisle turn around, and there's something running towards the camera. That is pretty much what happens in this movie as well. It's just jump scares. Jump scares. Everything is jump scares. Like, which, you know, I like jump scares. You know, that's, I'm, that's fine. You know, this one's want to scare me, scare me. That's fine. But, you know, you see them coming a mile away. And my, my biggest issue... Well, one of my biggest issues I have is like one of the main, one of the characters, the, the uh, one of the guys, you know, he saw a girl in the, you know, he 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 got attacked by one of the spirits, you know, demons or whatever, and he went back and told all his friends. He managed he managed to escape. He went back and told all his friends like, oh, this little girl, this this this, this not a little girl, but this is lady. She's here, and uh, you know, she she transported, and you know, we need to get out of here. But none, none, no one believed them. No one believed them, and and I get it. It's I get it's a movie, so they gotta you know move the plot along. But I, I don't know. Like maybe because I watch enough horror movies. If one of my friends said like, "Oh, there's dead. There's I saw a ghost. All right, let's let's just leave. Let's just leave." But you know that's getting besides the point. But the movie itself, a lot of screaming like 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 all, all the all the the ladies are just screaming constantly like towards the end and don't get me wrong I, I get you know there's ghosts there's demons chasing after you but so much screaming it's like I had to turn the volume down on my headphones to actually watch the movie because this is the, that's all you get the last few minutes of the movie <laughs> Just screaming, 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 and and then the overabundance of f bombs. Like, you know, if you want, if you want to use profanity, that's that's fine. You know, that's not my cup of tea. But go ahead. But as a movie, it's like f word. Like every other sentence from the beginning of the end of the movie, there's like at least like a hundred f bombs in the movie. I don't know, just peeve. It's just annoying. It just it shows that you know you can't write a script that well, in my opinion. But uh, I I didn't like the movie. The movies. I mean, I wouldn't watch it again. I don't recommend it. And, you know, after doing some research, I could see that the person, 
I think the director, I think this might have been his first movie or so, and they had an extremely small budget, and it shows they had a small budget. But, you know, eh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this movie. It's lazy, it's, you know, cliche as all can be. The jump scares aren't even that good, because you, if you've seen a found footage movie, you know exactly where the jump scares are going to start. Then, unless I miss something... The, there's this there's this thing about you know where's my children where's my children and I don't I don't know maybe I missed something uh, I really don't want to rewatch it again but I, I didn't get where that where that where that was coming from you know I I think I think they mentioned at one point in the movie that there was a like there's a there's a graveyard where all the you know child pedophiles and murderers go and because they didn't want to be buried next to the kids and that's that's all i remember about you know where's my children thing so when when that that saying keeps popping up where's my children where's my children even all the way at the end i was confused i i don't know maybe i missed something you know another, speaking of graveyard another thing that was stupid is like <laughs> they were like let's go visit the graveyard we're bored was, <laughs> like what who people actually do that like at nighttime, at that after after you heard the legend, the stories uh, about the, the the graves and stuff, yet you you want to go do it. Like it's just it's this bad writing, this completely bad writing. So I do not recommend watching this movie. I'm kind of upset that I, you know, spent the last you know ninety minutes watching the movie. So I don't recommend it. It's big, no. Mm -mm. But you know. If you do watch it, let me know what you think of it. You know, maybe I'm just, yeah, maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. But let me know in the comments, you know, like and subscribe. And let me know if there's any other horror movie that you want to check out or you want me to check out. All right. Later.